Oh. It's 9.30, November the 18th, 2019. Uh, we are in the small hall and the uh, regular board meeting of Taylor States is now called to order. Uh, Sandy, would you get the prayer and the prayer course, please? <coughs> Heavenly Father, we come here this morning. We're asking once again for your guidance in that as we transact the business for TE that you will give us wisdom and knowing exactly how to do this and we ask it in thy name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Gloria, would you do the roll call? Sure. Mary Chandler. Here. Lori Dalton. Here. Shirley Bellow. Here. Jim McElveen. Here. Dale Lauper. Here. Uh, Pete Price. Here. Sandy Sevenich. Here. Mike Sansoni. Absent. Dwayne Trotter. Absent. Have any uh, resident comments or questions? Gordon Elton, 1804 uh, Ohio Avenue. I feel obligated to say something since there's so many people here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just wanted to make observation that the agendas used to uh, have a list of some of the topics that were planned to be discussed so the residents would have some idea what was on the, on the plan for discussion. So they maybe a few more of them would show up if they had some interest in that. I don't know if there was a particular reason why they're not on there anymore, but uh, I'd like to see the list of items that are planned to be discussed on there so hopefully we can generate some additional interest in our um, owners here to attend and particularly the idea that the workshop is the, the place where you first discuss items and usually and like last workshop was the example where i think there was two items on the post of the agenda and we added somewhere like six additional items so if people weren't paying attention to that workshop they wouldn't have any indication that those things might be coming up at this uh, board meeting either. So I'd, I'd like, unless there's some particular reason why they, they aren't on there, I'd like to see those added back to the agenda. Thank you. Any other comments? If not, we'll close the residents' uh, comments and questions. And anyone want to respond to board? Well, I can respond to, um, there's nothing on the, if there's nothing listed on the board meeting, then there's no vulnerable issue. What's listed on the, um, on the workshop, that information has to be in by, like, for the next meeting, it has to be in Monday. And a lot of times things come up between Monday and the following Monday, that you've never thought of, but you still want to cover it. So that's what that's what happens. You'll find that soon. And I, I, I think before on the uh, uh, regular meetings, uh, they have the topics have been listed uh, for the most part, and today there's none listed because we don't have any to discuss. Yeah, uh, they have to be listed on the uh, board meeting agenda to be discussed. So we can't add any new business today. It has to have been determined by last Monday. Um, and, and so just mimicking what you're saying, what Gail's saying. But that's not true of the workshop. That's only true of the board meeting. Right. Correct. Correct. Uh, <clears throat> approval of the minutes. Uh, need a motion to approve the Board of Trustee meetings of November the 4th, 2019. I'll make a motion. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Any second? Second. Mary and Sherman. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Need a motion to approve the Board of Trustee Workshop of November 4th, 2019. Second. All in favor of discussion? Yeah, they have uh, the date of the talks is November yeah, 3rd. Says, sir, the board of the board. That was the only thing I had. Anything else? All in favor of approval of the minutes say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Okay. Motion carries. Uh, <clears throat> report of the treasurer. I have a motion to uh, raise. Motion has to do it first. Um, as of today, the checking account balance is $39,811.93. Money market balance five hundred and eight thousand sixty six dollars and forty eight cents. Now, we have a motion to approve the treasury report. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say nay. Aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Motion carried. And approval bills. Yep, I have a bill, uh, Blaylock Walters bill, for $4,290.50. You all have a copy of the bill, mm -hmm. I believe. Mm -hmm. You do not? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's all of the deposition work related to the pictures. Oh. We need approval of this? Yeah, yes, we need approval. Okay. We, we need a second. General something, okay. I'll approve the $4,290.50 payable to Blaylock Walters. Uh, say so, say it in the aid. 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 Uh, also, I'll approve the aid. 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 Uh, staff attorney and trustee comments. Go to information reports uh, from the trustee. Uh, do you have anything, Gail? Yes. Um, lots of information in regards to everything happening in seasonal recreation for the month of December. Um, but first I'll start with there is a dance this coming uh saturday three of a kind will be here and there will be no dance on november 30th okay now let's go to, to all the christmas stuff um tickets are required for the christmas party and that party dance whatever you want to say uh is saturday december 14th happy days is the dance this is a closed party for Trailer States residents and their visitors only. Um, it's supposed to be a Christmas party for us. So that means that it, for people who live in Manatee County or Sarasota County who always come to the dances, this is one dance that is only a party for us. <coughs> Tickets will be available in the office. You have to have a ticket. It's free. The ticket is free. Um, you begin picking them up on December 2nd, and they all have to be picked up by December 6th. So that whole week, you can get tickets for the December 14th Christmas party. New Year's party. Tickets be, are available two weeks from today, it's Monday, December 2nd, at 9 a.m. in the back of the large hall. Tickets are $7 for residents, and $13 for guests. Three of a Kind will also be the band 
um, that takes us to the new year this year. They did a great job last year. So, um, again, people want to know this. Monday, December 2nd, 9 a.m., back of the large hall, $7 for residents, $13 for guests. Come and join us. It's a fun evening. For the month of December, there will be no dance on December 21st or December 28th. Only two dances in, two regular dances in December, and um, the 30 and the 31st, of course. Okay, that's all I have. Yeah. Yeah. Office uh, restroom renovation is continuing. There's just a little bit of work left to do in there, and that will be over with. Shuffle bleachers repaired and painted. Fall flower planting, that's going on. Marina docks inspected and some of them are repaired. Palm trees are being fertilized. Marina potholes repaired. Fire ants treatment. Wind curtains and uh, blankets have been installed on the pool deck. Light fixture replaced at post office. Bike path pepper trees trimmed. That takes care of that. Um, I, I don't have a whole lot. I'm just letting everybody know I'm still waiting on the attorney to respond to the paperwork that I sent uh, regarding the community channel paperwork. As soon as I get anything back from the attorney, then I'll take it up. Please don't have it off my radar. Uh, we, our audit begins tomorrow. So our, our auditors will be in the office bright and early in the morning and be here for the day tomorrow. So I will be spending a lot of time with them tomorrow as we kick that process off. Um, new people this year, same firm, but new people. So that's always fun. Um, also want to let you know that I received a communication from Iberia Bank, the bank that we do our park business with. And I've been informed that in the end of second quarter around June, they are merging with First Horizon Bank. The, uh, they will become First Horizon Bank at the close of that merger. Um, they, it, they're going to try to make the merger as uh, seamless as possible. They're still going to honor our area bank checks for up to a year or two afterwards. So all the check stock that we purchased um, the account numbers all will stay in place for as long as we need it to before we need to purchase any additional check stock. Uh, First Horizon has no branches in Manatee County, so there's no risk of the branch right here on 14th Street that's uh, close to us being closed because they need a presence here. Um, so that's good news that I don't have to worry about finding another branch further away to do my business with. There'll be more coming on this as they work through the merger, but um, it is happening. Um, I expressed my concerns with them, and um, we're going to work closely through this to make sure it's smooth. Um, I wanted to let you, everyone know that. Mary, when I, when I read it first horizon, is first 1ST or is it FIRST? Uh, FIRST. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So any questions or concerns on this? I mean, I'll be all over it, but right now it should be simple. If for some reason they decide not to honor the wonderful rate of return we have on our money market, then I'll be shopping for other money market funds. But we can, that, you know, that'll be separate from our checking account unless we decide we need to do that too, but I'll be all over it. That's it for me. Uh, yes, since I'm on the Health and Welfare Committee, it is my responsibility that if you find 
and see that your neighbors have not moved their trash in a few days, have not moved their car in a few days, you have not seen them coming or going, and you feel that there is real trouble there at that home, if you would please give me a call so that I could get in touch with authorities that could come in and help us in some way. We've had uh, something happen here that somebody was uh, in this condition and we just found out about it. So as a community, we, we are here for each other and we do need to, we don't want to be nosy, but we do need to keep track of what's going on around us. So if you would just absolutely, just take five minutes out of your busy day and check on those right, right next to you, right around you. Give me a call if you feel there's something suspicious that needs to be taken care of. Um, that's all. Sure. Okay. All right, a uh, few things here. <laughs> I've got a problem with underage on Illinois and one and a problem on uh, Michigan that I'm dealing with. And one of the main things is uh, you need to check your properties when you come back. Uh, having a lot of problems with weeds and stuff in your flower beds and in the rocks. Just because you have rocks and papers does not keep weeds from coming up and it, then it looks pretty bad. And so we got complained about another one in Indiana not being taken care of. Um, and dealing with another one on Iowa, so uh, that's all I've got. <clears throat> well, the only thing I have is uh, uh, the uh, Next lot of luck will be tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, encourage everyone to come out if you want to have fun, a good meal. Uh, bring your co favorite cover dish and your uh, place settings. Uh, our next coffee break will be the uh, third Saturday in December, and uh, the fun band uh, will be our program. And that's always a fun time, also. So, I encourage everyone to come out. And Saturday, uh, we, a coffee break, we had the uh, fire department, Trailer State's fire department, did a presentation. It was an excellent presentation, and uh, they had plenty of questions. Tim, the chief, he uh, handled several questions. And it was real interesting to find out what they had done in the park, and I don't have the exact number, but uh, he mentioned something about over 200 runs that they have made in the park so far this year. And that kind of surprised me. For, uh, and uh, they, they really don't have someone in the park all the time, uh, but they are able to still get to the runs and, and make them, and, and they're really a big help to the park. And uh, so, and again, if you are interested and you were unable to attend the coffee break to hear the presentation, it will be on uh, channel 732 uh, and I understand it may be this week when they will be doing that. So if you're interested, uh, watch it on 732. Uh, that's all I have there. Now, one thing uh, mentioned here, did any of the trustees have any conversation with the attorney uh, since our last meeting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have. Okay. With uh, Mark? Uh-huh. What, what was it regarding? Um, I'm hurting. Okay. 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 What, what was the address? Um, Elmore. Elmore. Mm -hmm. I have one thing that I like that I forgot when you were talking about the fire department and everything. If you are having somebody stop at your house or having something done at your house, have them get their vehicle off of the road a little bit. Don't have another vehicle parked right across from it. An ambulance cannot get through there or in a fire truck can definitely not get through there. 
we've had that problem in the past and it kind of quit all at once it's starting again uh, somebody's having a yard sale or a garage sale and you can just about walk through there you can't uh, get a car through between the vehicle and a matter of minutes can cost somebody their life so kind of if you're having like a sale or if you're blocking the road have a move thank you reports from uh, standing committees have any standing committees wishing to report i have the beautification yes. committee mm -hmm. uh, we, we have no further news of what she had reported from before and we are continuing to work on things that we want to get done here in the park and our next meeting beautification meeting will be 11 27 at one o'clock here here and, and small small any thing from the media committee Old business, we have any old business? Any new business? Any reports from uh, clubs and organizations? Cornell meeting of four Ohio Avenue. I just wanted to uh, report, as most of you were there, you already know, but the, uh, the Vets Club and uh, Bayshore American Legion Post 317 participated with the beautific Beautification Committee for the uh, Veterans Day ceremony here out in front of the large hall by our, our monument. And I think we had a really good turnout and uh, everything, and for the first time we well, of course, it's only the second uh, Veterans Day ceremony we've had there, but this year we were able to uh, have a color guard, honor guard, uh, present the branch of service flags as well as the American flag. And all those veterans <coughs> bringing in those flags were residents of Trevor State. So on behalf of the veterans here, I want to let you know that they really appreciate having a ceremony here and we were uh, glad to participate uh, with that. And I understand that that's his plan to be an annual uh, event here. Um, computer club, excuse me. Before, before you go on, Lord, please, can you give me the uh, Bayshore American Legion post? What was the number again? 317. Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead. And the computer club, uh, as, as you've heard before, the uh, Computer Club holds their meetings on the first Friday of each month. I think that's next December 6th at 10 a.m. in the Pelican Room in the Activities Building. And at 10 o'clock is the business meeting, and 11 o'clock is the training, and the planned training for this meeting is regarding your uh, Spectrum account and using it and signing on. And the Computer Club is providing assistance to members of the club with their devices. And that's something we've been doing. There's typically been someone here most of the uh, summer as well. So it's not just been a seasonal, it's been a year-round activity that we've been able to do. And we'll continue to do that. And of course, we're always looking for new members. And dues are $5. Thank you. Any other questions? I have uh, clubs and organizations, but not with some justice. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'd like to talk about the Christmas dinner that, of course, is the 25th of December. Doors open at 4.30. Dinner will be served at 5 o'clock. Tickets will be sold December 9th, 10th, and 11th here in the small hall from 10 a.m. to noon. Uh, those tickets are $9 each. On December 9th, 
we are selling only to residents with ID cards. Okay, that's very important to know. Only residents with ID cards will be able to buy tickets on December 9th. On the 10th and 11th, you can buy all the tickets that you want to. Um, let's see. The menu is ham and turkey this year. Mashed potatoes and gravy, vegetable stuffing, uh, cranberry sauce, rolls and butter, and dessert. Carryouts will be available from 4.15 to 4.45 here at, in the small hall. Um, Santa is coming with presents. So I hope your ticket is the one that he brought a gift for. The next meeting of the Christmas Dinner Committee is uh, December 16th, which is a Monday, at 2 o'clock in the back of the large hall. And finally, the committee would like to thank the following people who have supported the dinner. Betty Sarhat, John and Janet Vandermolen, the Square Club, the Wisconsin-Minnesota Dinner, <clears throat> Art Expressions, Bocce, and the Blood Pressure Ladies, Mary Jane Mumford and Janet Vandermolen. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. Thank you. Two things. One, can I get that list of, of thank yous after the meeting? Yep. The other thing, the, the uh, ticket sales on December 9th are only to residents with an ID card. Is there a limited number of tickets for the residents to buy? Two per address. Yes, two per address, sorry. That's okay. I have it written on my paper. Mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. That's quite all right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And what time is the dinner? It's at 5. Doors open at 4 30. Any other reports from clubs or organizations? If not, the meeting's adjourned. 9 56. Anybody need a break before we go into the workshop? If not, the Board of uh, Trustee Workshop of Trailer States uh, is called to order November the 18th, 2019 at 9.57. Agenda, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. Enough. Does anyone have anything to add to that? I do. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Okay, that'd be number three. Mm -hmm. And Jim? One and four. Okay. Number four. Anyone else? about it and he uh, made me think in a certain direction and I saw that he was right about what he said um, 
And so I was, at the end of that discussion, I was going one way. But all week long, it really bothered me. And so uh, at the end, on Friday, I talked to Bill. Um, Bill, I did not know 